good morning and welcome back. Jacqueline and I are at the park today and a lot of you guys have asked to see some more RC action. So today I got my quadcopter courtesy of flight test and we got the old apprentice. And then later on it should calm down and we're gonna get Jacqueline up in the air in the paramotor. <laughs> it around pull up pull up pull up there you go oh okay i get it, I get it. when when you want to climb you add power just like the paramotor and you want to keep the pitch stable like see you're way up right now you want to push down oh jesus oh oh, oh. <laughs> I think it's okay, it hit the tree. Hey, that was a good landing. I, I think I had a small heart attack. No, here. that was good. Like, you just, you picked a tree and you set it down. After that relatively successful landing attempt, Jacqueline's going to attempt to take off. Oh, snap. Wait, power, keep power, keep power, keep power. Wait, there's babies over there. Keep power. Dude, that was beautiful. That was intentional. You all ready for take two? Oh! <laughs> oh, his butt! <laughs> oh my god, his butt! <laughs> Well, I mean, the apprentice was nice while it lasted. Oh no! <laughs> That's all right. She's, uh, she's fixable. Well, uh, that was fun while it lasted. But yeah, I'm gonna fly the little mini quad and get some footage around these maple trees. So, uh, mini quad footage. Bam! <laughs> That was slightly disappointing. I uh, totally didn't see that fence there, but we will be back for redemption. Uh, hopefully we don't suck as much at paramotor flying today as we do at RC flying. Well, I think we're gonna grab lunch and grab an oil filter because I have to change the oil on the Subaru. And then we'll be back for quadcopter redemption slash paramotor flying epicness part two. I like to Someone just commented on one of the old videos. Sorry, everyone that believes, but this is fake. His pants don't even move with all the wind. Oh my god. I said, troll, 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 troll. Oh, hey there. I think the quad will live to see another day. I don't think we're gonna have time to do quad cutter freaking FPV redemption today. But it is shaping up to be really nice out. The wind's dying down nice. So I think we're gonna head over to the airport and try to do some paramotor flying. Um, I promise I don't suck that bad at freaking FPV, but I'll include it in some more videos. We'll do some more quadcopter adventures that hopefully last more than like 15 seconds. So we're gonna load up, go over to the park, or go over to the airport rather, and hopefully get Jacqueline up in the sky and have a, have a ball, as the old folks would say. Check it out. So Jacqueline and I have been practicing for the past like hour and a half. It's coming right up on sunset now. We only got about like 20 minutes. We've been practicing, getting her a little bit more confident with things because it's been so long since her last flight. But we decided with the amount of daylight left, she's just gonna keep practicing a little bit on her own. And I'll go up for a quick little 
shenanigan on the brand new free ride. I've been flying this thing a little bit off camera and getting more acquainted with it. It's surprising how much more divey and how much more, I guess, energy it feels like it has versus the Viper 4. I got some sick barrel rolls on it before. I'll show you guys once we get some altitude. Also, I am currently wearing my new helmet for the first time ever. I posted about it on Instagram or something. I made a new paramotor helmet because my old one was just getting janky. And I upgraded from the Cena SMH-10R to the 10R, which is just their updated version of it. If you guys don't know, the way I film audio is through Cena Bluetooth link straight to the GoPro backpack. Links in the description for all the gear I use. So tell me if you think the audio sounds different. To me, it sounds like a little more tinny, like my voice, with almost a bit of an echo. The other thing with like teaching Jacqueline how to fly that I've kind of realized with training in general, the weather conditions in New Jersey aren't very conducive to teaching someone to fly. It's really hard to get good winds to kite in, and when it's kiteable, it's bumpy and turbulent. And then when you're actually trying to do like a first flight, it's either really windy, which makes the launch super easy, but then you get up and you're getting knocked around. And as a beginner, that's not a good feeling. The alternative is when it's super, super glassy smooth. In Jacqueline's case, it's really tough for her to launch in zero wind just because she's a small person. So it's a balancing act all the time. Oh man. It is cold up here. I'm at pretty high throttle now. Normally this is where the old Cena kind of falls apart. Audio doesn't sound that good. We'll see how this guy does. I did not dress appropriately. All right, we got one guy on downwind midfield and one guy just turning downwind. I think I'm gonna do a quick double barrel roll, one to the left, then one to the right, and then I'll probably come in and land. I gotta help out the one of the airport owners here with some like office stuff. I told her I'd be there at six. And it's almost six. Let's check the airspace. See if we can't nail a couple risky biscuits barrel rolls. Nice and buttery. One to the right. I will give this wing that. It barrel rolls like a champ. I still feel a little bit awkward and not coordinated doing wing overs, but we'll get that sorted out. All right, I think it's right about sunset, so I'm gonna come on into the old aeroporto and we'll pack it up. I'm all packed up, it's getting dark, and I'm like 15 minutes late for that meeting over at the airport. So I'm gonna go do that and uh, look forward to more videos with Jacqueline showing her whole progression. And we're gonna do a lot more practice, more forwards, more of everything, get her back up in the air. So until the next time, we'll see if we get that airplane fixed and I'll do more quad stuff. Till then, peace out. See you guys.